Topping the news this Saturday, the Central Bank of the Bahamas aggressively monitoring the economic brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic on the country. While the economy contracted in double digits last year, Central Bank officials say economic recovery may possibly happen in another two years. Aldavis Money takes a closer look tonight on the Central Bank's governor's address at the Bahamas Business Outlook. While the COVID-19 pandemic sharpened focus on economic vulnerabilities, Central Bank Governor John Rule revealed in the Bahamas Business Outlook that Hurricane Dorian underscored the growing threat of climate change. He noted that the Bahamas has to strive for faster growth in spite of the pandemic to finance more adequate public services and reduce the high public debt burden that preceded the pandemic. Governor Rule further acknowledged that COVID-19 has propelled new debt just to stabilize the economy. The economy contracted by at least 15% in 2020. And it is not expected to fully recover until possibly 2023. Although there's more clarity over when the recovery will start, considerable headwinds will remain in the very near term as developed countries cope with the most recent wave of COVID-19 infections and perfect their vaccination rollout strategies. The possibility of not achieving sufficient inoculation coverage until early in 2022 places travel and tourism on a recovery path that would be strongest in the overlap between 2022 and 2023. Governor Rowe cited international monetary fund statistics that economic growth in 2020 is projected to be eight percentage points less than it would have been without COVID-19. The central bank also realizes that countries like the Bahamas have had more severe economic responses to COVID-19 because of our constrained policy environment. Our fixed exchange rate, which is justified for our economic profile, takes the central bank out of consideration as a source of stimulus. Providing stimulus in a countercyclical fashion would have endangered the exchange rate by encouraging spending on imports that would diminish the foreign reserves. Instead, the central bank's policy stance has been to conserve foreign exchange for essential uses, which has meant that we had to suspend access to international portfolio investments and, for, and we had to introduce a range of other measures. But for us, it is really the ability to respond through fiscal policy that has defined the Bahamas' capacity to cope during the pandemic. Although a sizable deficit has emerged from the COVID-19 pandemic, the central bank governor indicated the outcome has almost been entirely due to declines in revenues. When we think about recovering and advancing, we have to think about focusing on comfortably reducing the, te the debt burden over the medium term so that the government can respond again when necessary to cushion economic setbacks. Altavis Mannings, ZNS Network News.